researchers have found a group of six outsider bodies covered underneath Nazca, Peru, and DNA tests propose they don't have a place with Earth. Back in June 2017, analysts freely reported that another mummy had been uncovered in Nazca that hinted at it having a place with an obscure species. As per Professor Konstantin Korotkov of St. Petersburg University in Russia, the body had a place with another animal, another humanoid. After three months, new film and data has risen demonstrating the disclosure of new embalmed bodies, all with comparable qualities to the first. AggregateEvolution.com reports, they are humanoid, and have three fingers and three toes on each hand, with a particularly extraordinary state of skull contrasted with cutting-edge people, and also the individuals who meandered the earth before we did. Various researchers have been included with this venture as yet, as you will find in the video underneath. One of them is Dr. Konstantin Korotkov, an educator of computer science and biophysics at St. Petersburg Federal University of Informational Technologies, Mechanics, and Optics. He stated, We have a critical mission here in Peru. I came here in light of this gathering of researchers, experts, and, columnists. When they drew out the body and hauled it out of the case, it was a staggered quiet at first. Writer Graham Hancock depicts his involvement in one of his books, Fingerprints of the Gods. Beneath us now there's a couple of parallel lines, very nearly two miles in length, bolt straight the distance to vanishing point. Furthermore, there, off to one side, a progression of dynamic shapes on a scale so immense, but then so correctly executed that it appears to be unfathomable they could have been crafted by men. The general population around here say that they were not crafted by men, but rather of demigods, the Viracocas, who additionally left their fingerprints somewhere else in the Andean district a large number of years prior. So far it appears that underlying examinations propose the likelihood of an animal groups not at all like anything found in the fossil record. Early DNA after effects of the mummy, named Maria demonstrate that she is female, and that alternate bodies found close by her, which seem to be a companion and a few youngsters, are additionally genuine, organic bodies. Some of their organs are in reality still in place. Additionally testing was done on one of the most interesting parts of these bodies, their fingers and toes, and has demonstrated that these parts are not phony, precluding any probability of a trick. They're a similar material, a similar synthetic arrangement and a similar DNA. The specimens taken from Maria's fingers coordinated the date of her body, which is around 249 to 411 AD. Cell-based dating, and an examination of the structure of the body by means of CT sweep and X-beam, demonstrated it was genuine. From the main DNA examination, it was demonstrated it's not chimpanzee, it's not monkey, but rather it's human-like DNA. It was demonstrated. Since we realize that now we have three sorts of human-like animals. It is Neanderthals, Cro-Magnon like ourselves, and Denisovan. Presently, at next level, they need to make considerably more definite investigation, and significantly more convoluted examination, so they will make a library of qualities, and after that they will have the capacity to contrast it in database of human subjects. At that point, we'll see whether it is precisely human-like, or it is smidgen unique. Dr. Konstantin Korotkov. The group is at present still as of now sitting tight for a more point-by-point -point DNA examination, which can take some time. What's fascinating about the mummy is that all the inward organs have stayed in place. The heart, stomach, and parts of the mind are accessible for examination. Unmistakably she has an indistinguishable sort of inward organs from we do. With regards to the CT examines. We are logically demonstrating that this body is a genuine body, that was once alive. For instance, here we have the teeth from the upper curve, and here are the ones from the lower curve. The skull with the remaining parts of cerebrum mass, this part here demonstrates the lungs along the edge. This is the heart, with the bronchus, and the considerable vessels, lungs at the two sides. This is as yet the heart, and here are the four pits, and the bronchi that are saved. They additionally demonstrate the digestion tracts and stomach area, and that the situation of the inner organs is totally concordant. New Bodies, The Family 
In the video underneath, investigative writer Jaime Mawson uncovers that more bodies have since been found, two grown-ups and one youth. They are fundamentally the same as. As of now, they are trying alternate bodies, and in the event that they end up being genuine like alternate bodies, that will add up to six genuine bodies, whoever or whatever they are. The perseveration is astounding. In the video, they demonstrate an output of one of the little mummies, whose bone thickness uncovers the cosmetics of a genuine living being. We can experimentally demonstrate that the skull of these animals have a cranial cavity like people. In any case, they have some solid contrasts. The group has since worked with illustrators to reproduce how these animals would have gotten around, as appeared in the video beneath. Human-like DNA, what does that even mean? What does human-like DNA truly mean? All things considered, people share half of their DNA with a banana, around 80% with pooches, and 99% with chimpanzees. As a general rule, our genomes vary from multiple points of view, however the numbers appear to suggest something unique. The point I am attempting to make is, with respect to my exploration into the extraterrestrial marvel, the normal factor is humanoid. With the majority of this data in all likelihood secured up black budget special access programs, SAPs, who knows what sort of science and disclosures stay characterized. Imagine a scenario in which the shared factor, with regards to extraterrestrials, is a DNA coordinate that is to a great degree close. What might that say in regards to life as a rule? I don't trust human DNA is constrained to our planet alone. English researcher Francis Grick, most noted for co-finding the structure of the DNA atom in 1953 nearby James D. Watson, wrote in his book Life Itself that there is no conceivable way that the DNA particle could have gotten its begin here on Earth and that it needed to have come here from elsewhere. He conjectures. It now appears to be far-fetched that extraterrestrial living beings could have achieved the Earth either as spores driven by the radiation weight from another star or as living life forms embedded in a shooting star. As a contrasting option to these 19th century systems, we have considered directed panspermia, the hypothesis that life forms were purposely transmitted to the Earth by astute creatures on another planet. We reason that it is conceivable that life achieved the Earth thusly, however, that the logical confirmation is insufficient right now to say anything in regards to the likelihood. We attract consideration regarding the sorts of confirmation that may toss extra light on the theme. He is one of numerous scientists in the field who trusts this. Unquestionably fascinating to consider.